Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clean header like this one. So you can see it's got the clean text, the clean background. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that. Um, mainly using brushes and some pen tooling and stuff like that. I will be using some stocks and stuff from this pack. Which is a compilation for, um, of stocks from Blaze, Rated and Big E's packs they have on their cell phone. So you check out these websites where you can buy the stuff in this pack. I can't give this away obviously because I don't own it and I'm just using it. But yeah, I'm not going to use this a lot because I know a lot of you guys won't have those those things. So yeah, let's get right into it. So yeah, here I've got my photos. These are the photos I'm going to be using. Um, but first off, I will have the, the, the template for this Twitter header in the description so but it just has this border around it really and has the right dimensions and everything so yeah okay so let's get into it so we have our two pictures here then um, we're going to do one for proofy obviously because that's where that's who you can see on the screen and what we're going to do is off well first we're going to rast rasterize them because when you import them it can make them a small object and we don't really want that for now okay so now we, you can see these photos they're both pretty um pretty grainy we can see like these little dots from the picture quality and so to fix that we can go to filter topaz labs denoise 5 if you don't have topaz labs then just skip this step it's absolutely fine but if you do have it then i do recommend i do recommend you doing this step because it, it does make a difference okay so now you've got topaz labs denoise open you're just going to go to light and then increase it just a bit you don't want to increase it too much um it's because you don't want it to look at too cartoony and I'll show you and you'll see the the, the transformation from what it was before so look, now you can see there's no there's none of these dots anymore oh no it's gone <laughs> alright so there's none of these dots anymore and the, the, just the picture quality is increased so yeah um, we're going to just do the same for the other one um, just going to process the image real quick because we've already done it before we're just going to use the same settings and you can use the same settings just by going to filter and just pressing that and it has the same settings as before okay so now we've done that we're gonna rub out the, um, the edges just so there's a bit of a fade and the, so that there's not this cut off line so what you want to do is you want to make the brush a bit bigger because if you do it really small then um, you see the fade is really small and then there's just really not a lot of point of doing it so you just want to make your brush pretty big and just go down it and now it just goes it just kind of fades into darkness and it's going to do that with the other one as well and there we go. So now they both kind of fade. Um, so yeah, that looks good. And also, what we want to do is we want to get rid of all these little um, bits that stand out. like the BenQ logo there. We don't really want that there. It just kind of stands out and distracts you. So we're just going to get rid of it. And yeah, that's all you really need to do is just use the eraser tool there. Okay, so now that's fine. You don't really need to get rid of the X-Racer there because it's just in the very corner. And uh, we're going to rub that part out uh, in an hour. Um, right now so what we want to do now is we want to lower the opacity of the brush just make sure you're on the eraser tool I'm not the brush the eraser just make sure in the eraser tool and lower the opacity we're gonna do um, we'll go for a 60 yeah and then we'll make the brush a bit bigger and then I'm just gonna go around the main focus point just so it makes the, ba the background a bit darker and um, it makes him stand out a bit more and that look makes it look a lot better You just don't want to make it too patchy, so yeah, this would be fine. Um, because if I went over it now, then you'd see some parts are darker than others, and we don't really want that. Okay, so now we'll do the same to the other photo. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could pen tool it and make it perfect, and just lower the lower the brightness of the um, the original. But yeah, that would just take too long, and for the sake of the tutorial, uh, we're not going to do that. Okay, so now we've got this, we've got him standing out from the from the rest of the background. I think we're just going to do a bit more here, just lower the opacity a bit. Yeah, we can do a bit more. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to lower the opacity of these pictures. And then we're going to turn the blending option, which is, should say normal, just turn it to luminosity. And now we can see he's in black and white, pretty much. Okay, now we've done that. It's, it looks pretty clean, but obviously we haven't done a lot already and it doesn't look too bad because the denoise it makes the qu the quality of the picture look all good and yeah, okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a light there are multiple different ways you could do this, you could literally just use a brush and then lower the opacity so you could do it that way, it doesn't look too bad um, there are some actual brushes 
made for um, lighting. They're literally lighting brushes. Uh, let me just show you those real quick. Um, yeah, so you can see these lighting. Uh, that wasn't a very good one, to be honest. Yeah, see, you can, here's a good one. You can see it's just the light. And then there's this one other way that I'm going to show you, which is the way I like to use. Because you, you kind of you kind of make the light yourself, and um, it, you kind of have more power over where the light goes and all that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our lips tool. If you if it's on the rectangle tool, just click and hold. Go to your lips, and then just click and drag. And then so you want it to be centered, and then you want to select how wide you want the light to how how wide you want the light to span, and how tall you want it to span. So how far down you want it to go okay so now we have this and it's just a circle well it's not really even a circle it's more like a reshaped oval um, so yeah now we have that uh, we just want to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and we're going to change it to a smart object and now we can just increase um, the radius of the blur and now yeah it looks really nice so as you can see we now have this light coming down and um, I think we're actually going to take a bit more of the light from the background of here because it's kind of detracting from the light just a bit. So we're just going to do this real quick and just re increase the opacity of the brush a bit. Obviously, you might not be using the same photos as me, so you might not be having this problem. But uh, yeah, just get it to the way you you feel looks best. So let's do it over here as well. And by the way guys, these photos were taken by Astro Gaming. I got these photos from uh, their Twitter. So yeah, if you're looking for photos, just, um, just go on their Twitter. But make sure if you're posting on Twitter or on any other media, just make sure you give them credit because otherwise um, you can get in trouble for that. Okay, so now we've got that. We've got the lighting. Um, we're just going to get the lighting just so it's a bit brighter and just lower the opacity with that one. Okay, so now we've got that. Uh, we're now going to add the text. So let's do this. We're gonna. We're not going to add all the sponsors and all that because that would just take too long, and we don't want this tutorial to be too long. Okay, so we got Proofy. This font is Unisans thin. Uh, you can get thick. Um, I, I really like this font. This is pretty good. Okay, so now we got this. We're just going to put this right in the middle. You can check the middle by getting the rulers and just finding the middle and just dragging them out. Yeah, I've got rulers quick tip tutorial so if you don't know how to use your rulers then go check out that tutorial um, okay so now we got this here um, we got this text so what we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient so, so that just adds the even cleaner effect you see it just goes from a light a dark grey well not a dark grey a light grey to a white and then it just looks really clean and now we're going to add a drop shadow as well and uh, you can't really see it but um, it does add a shadow um, to the text and I just want to make sure that there is no distance and that the spread is a bit higher. Okay, that's perfect. And we're just going to duplicate that downwards and we're just going to put um, player for Team Envious there. Player for Team Envious. And now. Ooh, we can just resize that by going to our move tool and press Control T and just resize that and of course we have to make sure it's centered so let's put that there there we go and we have to make sure the proof is centered as well I think we forgot to do that so let's do that real quick okay so now these all lined up let's move this a bit closer to the text so it's a bit more together and there we go we could also make the text um, increase the distance apart from the text that adds a nice clean effect as well so, yeah so there we go okay so now we've got this it's pretty clean so far um, now we're gonna add these these I don't really know what to call them these glares I suppose you can call them glares so yeah let's do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer on top of everything and go to the pen tool and then just cut right across and then just go around. Okay, now you want to make make selection, 
and yeah just press ok make sure this is on zero it doesn't really matter for this but I suppose but yeah let's go to zero and then we go to our brush tool and now we're gonna make sure it's just an ordinary brush because I know some of you might not have those lighting brushes so we're just gonna go to the very top real quick and as you can see we have everyone should have this it's a default brush uh, it's doesn't really matter the size we're just gonna decrease the size a bit just make sure the hardness is on zero um, okay let's make the brush smaller by using our square bracket keys it can make them smaller and bigger and now you can just click and it will only go inside the selected area and now we have that we can lower the opacity and yeah that adds a nice clean effect I think we're going to move it over a little bit and then we're going to rub some of, some parts out and yeah let's make that perfect and then we're going to lower the opacity just a bit more Okay, so now you can see it's lighter on this side and darker on this side, and that just adds a nice effect. Uh, I think we're gonna do a few more. We're gonna do one across the middle there, and then we'll um, make one over here. Uh, you can duplicate easily, move it around just by holding Alt, and that duplicates the, the item that you have selected. So, yeah, uh, let's change this one a bit. Okay, let's have it going across him. Okay, that looks good. So now we've got that, we're going to do some color correction. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the curves. I'm just going to increase it just a little bit. And then drop it at the end. Okay, that doesn't really make much of a difference, but it does have an impact on the rest of the color corrections. So now we're going to add a, a gradient map. So it, what these gradient maps do, this this white will control the, the light parts of the picture and then the black will control the dark parts of the picture. I think it might be the other way around actually. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It might be the other way around. Okay. Yeah, I, wait, okay. So the orange will control the light parts and the, this the, this purple will control the, the, the dark parts. Okay, so we're just gonna make this, um, we just find a nice color. Should we go for a gray? Actually, no, we can't do that because this is purple. Everyone should have this, um, these gradients here because they're the default ones. So everyone should have them. Okay, we're going to go to this purple. We're going to make it a bit brighter. Oh, are we? Are we? Um, yeah, it's, it's, just mess it's just messing around, seeing what looks good. Uh, we're going to put that there. And then we'll change this one. Yeah, okay, this looks good. We'll just have a tint of blue for that's the team color. Just a small tint. Okay, that looks good. So now we have that. Uh, we're going to increase the brightness just a bit. Just to bring out these light parts. And now we're going to add some other brushes. Of, um, you guys might not have some of these brushes. All you need to do is Google brush packs. Some of them I did pay for, but um, not a lot of them I did. Uh, so yeah, there are lots of free ones out there. So yeah, be sure to check those out. And they are very useful when making banners. So you basically just want to look for something that you like. So let's have a quick look. Let's try and find something. What's that? Okay, it's not bad. Let's make it a bit smaller. Actually, it might be a bit too clustered, I think. Let's lower the opacity. Yeah, I think it's a bit too, too much. Let's just look for a different one. Okay, we can go for this one. So just gonna put that in the middle, or any other brush that you might have, and then um, let's see. Yeah, okay. We're gonna set it to overlay, and we're gonna um, put it on top, on the um, higher than the other layers, just so it goes on them pretty much. Uh, now we can. Put that in the background, and we're gonna rub it out from his face just so it doesn't go over it. Let's just do that real quick. So we don't want it going over his face. It looks a bit dodgy. Okay, so now we have that in the background. It looks really clean. It looks really nice. If you want, you can add a, um, a blur to it. 
but with this brush I don't think it'll look too good because um, it's kind of, it, I like the sharp edges on it okay so now we've got that I'm gonna use a smoke so all you, you can literally go to Google just type in the smoke stock and I'm sure you find something that can look good I'm just gonna put it over the banner over the light so that it kind of adds like it's it's not really a grunge but it's like it's a very subtle grunge effect <clears throat> okay so now we've got that uh, whoops did not mean to do that okay we're now gonna do the same but for behind him so let's just pick a different brush real quick uh, we will use one of these oh uh, yeah we'll go for this one make it smaller and just dot them around behind them, well not really dot them, but yeah and then we'll lower the opacity right down and then we'll rub this out and as you can see it just kind of, it looks like it's coming from him and it looks, it looks pretty good it's a nice effect, we'll lower the opacity even more okay now that we've got that, uh, oh, did not want to do that I think we're going to move this picture over a bit Okay, and then we're gonna move the glare over. Okay, it looks good. So now we have that. We have this effect on him. We have that on him, um, and we have that in the background. Now we're gonna go to we're gonna we want to add a pattern to the background. So you, I found this on Google. All I literally typed in was a grid texture because I thought a grid texture would look pretty good. So I found this here. You guys could literally type this in and find it for yourself. All you need to do is go to this and just download it. Um, we're going to put this into the background. Uh, let's make it a bit bigger. If you see that it's gained too, this if like if it's losing too much quality because we're resizing it, then just use a different picture. But it looks like this one's going to be fine. So put that in the background to the very bottom layer, and I'm just going to lower the opacity right down. And now you can see that we have all these little hexagons in there, and they look really nice. Okay, I think we're gonna do some more of the color correction, just to, just to mess around. Some it could look good, it could look bad. Uh, we're just gonna see how it turns out. I think. So let's decrease that and increase that. Oh, did not need to do that. Okay, because these parts look really dark, and I don't even know if I want them too dark. Um, hold on. This, I do I did like that like it a bit darker bring out the lighter parts I think we're gonna add another light so we're just gonna use the brush uh, the ordinary brush tool for this we can use the default brush get a bit bigger and make sure we're on a new layer so we don't go over any go over anything put that in the corner and then we're just gonna lower the opacity and then we're gonna do the same to the side as well okay so now we have that it looks pretty good um yeah just thinking is there anything else we added to this one yeah it would be pretty much done you could add you could do the different variations as you see this is the different variation of each other um actually what we could do is we're going to merge all the layers together so we wait okay we're going to duplicate them we're going to make a, a folder so now this is everything hold on okay so now we have two two folders, well we have three folders, This, the top one is just the border going around the outside uh, this one is everything, all the layers and everything, this one is as well and we're just going to press Control E on the layer and now this is just um, the image, so it's all merged into one and what we're going to do is we're going to add Gaussian Blur so the whole, the whole design gets blurred let's do a bit less actually okay, and now we're going to use the eraser tool to just go around and uh, erase the blur from the part of focus. So we want him on. We want him unblurred. We want the text unblurred, and we want the other picture unblurred as well. So as you can see, the this the the light is blurred. The background is blurred, and it adds a really nice effect there as well. Okay, guys, that's this. That's been this tutorial. I tried to use the pack as as least as I can because I know a lot of you guys don't have them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you found that it helps, leave a like because you leaving a like helps me gain recognition. And yeah, that, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment if you have any tips on how I can improve my tutorials, or if you have any suggestions on tutorials.
Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.